isn't always clear at first. You're a teenager, maybe younger, and you've been to shows, listen to music, dragged to museums at school or your parents, and it's still entertainment, decoration, filigree. But at some point, some late night with friends, maybe stone coked out, rolling on E, something hits you. This isn't background music, it's the soundtrack. You are in music, you hear body and soul. That book you read, it's all about you. Some being inside you is given a language and a voice to speak with, and you get chills up your spine. It might be painting, dance, play, poem, movie, band. You connect these ideas, and a whole new concept appears. Perfect reasoning links together, forming a bridge. You can fly through this superstructure, buttressed by logic, wires, girders, and underpinnings of beauty, sharpness, and clarity. And in the center, there's a thematic statement. Good over evil, search for truth. Why we're here, meaning, inhumanity, love. This is the artist's mind and soul. This is what they are saying. You want to know more. Why do they create this? Deeper into their life, who their influences are, and who they are to you, and you find an identity with them. You try your hand, approximate, miming, but you stray off speaking to yourself because ultimately, the inception of all art begins as a conversation with yourself. You spend time thinking, theorizing, creating. You don't know why. You're obsessed. You're like a character in Close Encounters, building instinctively some kind of model of something you know nothing about. And you toil in a blinding furnace of sweat, agony, deep thought, high emotions, and ink, paint, paper, media, hours, weeks, maybe years. Some days, you're flattened with certain failure. Other times, you march through confounding uncertainties and become a Zen master. And then, you emerge from that cave like a hero, weathered and bloody. You hold up your creation unique and unparalleled. You are a god, giving life to myth, form to thought. You get rejection by the dozens and wear it like a tattoo when someone says, this is extraordinary, I'm, I'm giving this to someone else, someone important, someone who could change your life. It is happening, but it's not happening, not yet. When that life changer doesn't want to change your life, rejection hurts and nearly kills you and your work. And then you heal and begin anew. You are now an artist. This is art. This is why artists are politically left, socially odd and anti-everything, why some make nothing and some make millions, why some are gay or transgender or sexual enigmas, some are alcoholics, addicts, who blow their brains out. It doesn't always make sense. It's ambiguous, complex. It's not easy. And you'll spend your lifetime clawing away to carve out a path of intricate etched niches, shaped by concocted phrases that trigger sentences, stories never before heard. You will birth a world of images, scenes, weaving tapestry tales spun out with fine and coarse control of streaming consciousness, looming a mesh, stripped extraneous, and enveloping the real. And it will all happen in the moment. After peeling off your cranium, you will rise and expose your art, your craft, yourself, your very mind and soul to others in their face, aloud, reveal. And as the artist touched you, so too do you touch others. And you'll give others chills up their spine. Thank you.